What's up, go on? It's Tiffany Cameron, Ready Girl number 50s, and you're here with me on Sports Down the Middle. Like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings sports fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. The reggae girls are back in action. But before we go into the details, we see that you have been watching and liking. But if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates in the world of sports. And welcome to the Sports DTM family. Fans, the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, put out a release on Thursday, May 6, 2021, that the Jamaica Senior Women's National Football Team will play two international friendlies in the United States of America as part of the U.S. Soccer 2021 WNT Summer Series. The matches are expected to be played on June 10th, where the reggae girls will tackle Nigeria, and on June 13th, when they will play the world champions and the hosts. Both matches are expected to be played in at the BBVA Stadium in Houston, Texas. The series is a four-team series, which will also feature Portugal as the fourth team. In the release, the JFF also indicated that the format of the series will feature the USA and Nigeria playing three matches, while Portugal and Jamaica will play two. No standings will be kept and all matches will be treated as friendlies. The JFF also announced a provisional 31 woman squad. Analysts, what are your thoughts on this? And the JF, what are your thoughts on the JFF securing these friendly games? The good thing about this, Adrian, is that prob not, probably 90% of the, the girls are playing uh, club football, a few of them being uh, unattached. Right, that is the good thing about this. So they should have much fitness. Right, the thing, the the, the, the thing that's kind of annoying is that the team has been, you know, them a brush off them international cobwebs off of them boots. Right, why is it that they haven't been playing? What what, what what's happening? Is it, is the is the program being neglected? Is JFF busy being just focusing on the boys and, and leaving out the girls. We need we need some consistency with regards to um, the girls because they, them slip out a top 50 and I believe that will affect um, the club careers of future reggae girls. So we need to be consistent where playing international matches are concerned. I for one, I'm not, I'm not going to jump up and, and back flick because these, ma ma these matches are secured. Because this long overdue, yo. What, what, what JFF do all long? Why the girl them now play? Right? This long, long overdue. The JFF need to sort out them, them, them. I don't know how they go about seeking matches, but they need to sort out that aspect of, of, of the, the program because we can't have the girls sitting down for over a year. We can't have any international team sitting down for over a year not doing anything. Twiddling them thumbs. Right? Put them down until the World Cup. No, man. No. I'm sure I'm, sorry. I'm sure that's not how it works. Yeah, happy to see that the regular girls are back. 
um, after being out so long. But I'm not so worried because I know they're playing in professional leagues all around the world and they, they have become a, a family oh, pretty much over the years. Going to the World Cup is the same team, so they know each other's game already. So I'm not too worried about the, the chemistry aspect because I know they just need to have a few training sessions under their belt and they can be back to their best. So big up for, to the JFA for putting, putting this thing on, getting the games finally, and some high quality games to that. Um, the regular girls definitely will be tested. Um, I'm not too worried about the results. I'm just glad that they are together again and playing football. Well, this is good news. I mean, you could read it two ways. You could almost feel like um, JFF was not being very proactive. Or you can read it as a way that JFF responded once the um, the reggae girls fall out of place. You know, they responded and as such um, got, got some games. And so, you know, you have to be grateful and happy that after being out of play for so long, they're able to get some get some game and get a look in. Um, once again, the local base players would have issues. Um, the overseas one won't because they'll be playing competitive football in their respective league. Um, the Marlo Sweatman and persons like that, you know, you can they they have been playing. But you know, good work, JFF. I can't take that away from you. You have gotten games for them, and that's good. Um, that that kind of setup goes well. You know, that's consistent. Um, competitive football playing even though it's a friendly um and you should get some money in the in the, in the kitty so it, it's good work once again thanks thanks a lot jff that that's good work you have to commend them when they do things like this and as such good work the games will be the first for jamaica since they participated in the CONCACAF olympic qualifiers in february 2020 that's over a year ago this is really good news, as you would note from our previous, one of our previous videos that the Jamaican football team, the women, have actually slipped a place from out of the top 50 into 51 due to inactivity. Their coach, Hubert Busby Jr., stated in the release that we are extremely pleased to be a part of this series of games. They come in, a, in handy as we begin to put our squad together for the World Cup qualifiers beginning in November. Hi, I'm Marlo with the Glon. I just want to big up Sports Down the Middle. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out their channel. Fans out there, let us know what your thoughts are. The reggae girls are back, and the JFF is excited. The fans are certainly excited. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.